more announcements. All right, uh, any informal proposals? Mic check. Mic check. Earlier today, Earlier today I, made a proposal I made a proposal concerning, concerning awareness, awareness and, accountability. and accountability. The purpose of this is so that we as a community can define, can define where, we're at where we're at and our understanding, and our understanding of how we treat one another, how we treat one another respectfully, respectfully and legitimately. Removing all bad intentions. Removing all bad intentions. I mean, I mean morals. morals. The continuity of our group, the of our group depends, upon depends upon our ability, our ability to, relate to relate to each other, to each other lawfully, lawfully, respectfully, respectfully, respectfully and, peacefully. and peacefully. It is my belief, it is my belief that this session this session which is inclusive which is inclusive of the entire community of the entire community will help us will help us tremendously tremendously we have another one over here i think um well first should we be voting on this should we take a sack um i'd like to take a sack on that would anyone like to speak do we have one clarification uh one here um, Y'all have to work with me. I, I'm not down. I don't have the hand signals no, down yet. Um, uh, informal. Uh, what's the gentleman? The young gentleman behind you, name? Chris. Yeah, Chris. Yes, sir. Chris, you said something about Friday set, trying to get more numbers out here. You know the people. I have a suggestion that. Um, oh. We're on this subject right oh. now, but we can come back to that. Um, can we come back to that in general discussion? Sure. Yeah, yeah, that's that's, that's fine. I okay. just we'll come back to you. Right. Um, we had you, sir. Uh, I was asking, what was the proposal? <laughs> it was you uh, to create the yeah to to create a session okay. for the entire community. Thanks. You're welcome, Sylvia. Okay. Uh, did anyone else want to speak on the subject, or can we move into um, voting on it? Um, so we're going to vote on it? We're going to take a vote? vote on Point process? Uh, this is informal proposals right now. Formal. So this is just kind of to put it out in people's mind. It's not a formal oh, proposal, so we should not discussion. vote on it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Okay, then I guess we go to it. Uh, any other informal proposals? All right. Any formal proposals? speak with somebody who represented us. Because yes. he has to speak with somebody who represented us. And my proposal will be that we nominate a diverse uh, representation or body to, uh, when that date and the time has come to meet and speak with him, that we will have this already decided, have a diverse voice of, of, of to represent our body that will do that. I don't think we'll all be able to get 75 people into his place or wherever it would be, but I would like for us to, in later date, not tonight, um, go forward with that, not procrastinate, but we do have to handle our business. So we have to uh, prepare to meet and speak with him if we want to go forward in the business of doing the things in the proper order and fashion, at least attempting to, and you know, despite the political camouflage. So that's my proposal that we have nominations of 
the diverse team, if you will, that represents the body, that will speak with the mayor in dialogue and conversation pertaining us here at the Pinawa Plaza. Okay, um, we have at least one person to speak on this. Uh, yeah. Uh, Would you like to come up? Yeah, sure. Yeah, would you like to come up? Anyone who wants to speak on this, please come up and we'll form a sack. Could we not just delegate that responsibility to the city council group? Or, even better, in my opinion, uh, have the mayor come and talk to us. If he wants to have a conversation with us, he can have a conversation with us. To elaborate on that, um, I heard that when he came, um, you know, he, he was he kind of made a, a complaint that media was here and he thought that he would just speak with a few people. So I don't think I don't think it's the best idea to bring him here unless we can keep it, you know, kind of contained so the media doesn't, you know, show up because that kind of, I don't know. I wasn't here for it, but that's just what I heard. I thought I'd bring that up. Um, anyways. Um, I just had, like, um, maybe a, a kind of, I guess this is an informal proposal about what he said. Um, maybe like the people who are here or maybe when you get more people here as this is like a good group to start it though maybe we should get like people to actually write down why they're actually here like what is their main concern for things and then maybe even come up with another work group for it I don't know if there already is one like that but um and kind of like just get all of those aggregate all of those you know have a group to go over them and then have a GA or just another meeting on like what were the main ones that stuck out and things like that and then from there we could we could do what he said and um just have a couple people like break it down into main points and like these are our main concerns or something so you know just just like uh, some actual formal written papers so they can actually see what like as detailed as you can be about it so um i don't know that's just my proposal for it that's what i think thank you thank you anybody else want to it, I, I believe there's a declaration uh, work group, isn't there? Uh, do you mean the grievance work group? Is that what, what it we is? We do have this uh, um, uh, committee of three for uh, city council liaison, but this is a new grill, and this is a different dynamic. He's going to do it in a different context. So I understand what he's saying, and I thank those who are here, and I know uh, everybody wasn't here, so that's why I bring the informal proposal that it don't have to be the city council liaison that we work on, as the young man said, maybe discussing something, but it's not a demand thing. He's trying to work on permit and being here legit, legitimately and um, not being harassed or raided. So that's the type of dialogue we need to go forward with that is not involving the city council. So. Um, I have something to say on this. Can someone come in and be a stack taker for one moment? Thank you, Trevor. Um, I've uh, talked with some people about ideas. This is in no way um, definite. Um, I just thought... Point of order? Oh. Aren't, aren't, aren't those people not supposed to... Uh, or is that why you got the replacement? Yeah, that's why I got a replacement, so I can speak as okay. myself. Sorry. Um, is everyone okay with that? No. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, so, okay, my idea as well as I, um, after talking with some people, and this is just for y'all to talk about further, um, and this is not something I want voted on immediately, um, the idea I had is to have uh, four members that could be a team that he could feel comfortable with, wouldn't be too many, but also could represent us. Hopefully, um, at least two male, two female, and hopefully with uh, ethnic diversity. Um, I would also want them to be, at least three of them, to be members of our uh, major um, committees, including uh, legal, um, uh, media, and uh, medical, and me or me either medical or one of the others. Um, I'm not quite sure. But I haven't gotten much further than legal and media because I know those are very important. So that's just an idea I just wanted to put out there. Uh, I agree with everything he just said, uh, but um, I think the city council liaisons would also be a valuable resource. Right. 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 Right.
I agree with what he just said. I bl but I also believe that the, that the city council liaisons I also believe the city council liaisons will play a valuable role as well, in addition to play a, play a valuable role in addition to the other um, groups, the, yeah, the, other other groups. groups. the other groups um, as far as your concern about the press and, and um, his response to the press being here uh, we did not invite the press the press just showed up on their own. Um, so, yes, we do want to try to keep this as private as possible. That way that the mayor's office and us can get our own message out without having the press uh, skew, skew the story however they feel it um, should be skewed. Um, but we're working on that. Um, and I think I think we should form some type of uh, group, the work group, maybe after GA or soon after. But... It should consist of the um, city council liaisons and anyone interested in being a, uh, an, a, a mayoral liaison. Uh, I'd like to ask everyone well, here. We've got stack vote, but if you'd like to come down. Thanks. Um, okay. So, my check. My, my check. check. So, I do like the idea. So, I do like the idea. Of everyone putting together their idea. Everyone putting together their idea. Of why they're here. Of why they're here. Because I think it's very important. Because I think it's very important. If our movement, if our movement has, a solid voice, has a solid voice. Has a solid voice. From everybody. From everybody. And so at least it gives something. At least it gives something. To give back to. To give back to. The city council liaisons. The city council liaisons. So they have a better idea. So they have a better idea. Of what we're feeling and why we're here. What we're feeling, why are we here? So I think, so I think to elaborate on the idea, to elaborate on the idea, that there should be a box, there should be a box, an anonymous box, an anonymous box that people can write, that people can write why they're here, why they're here, and when it gets full, and when it gets full, we can have facilitation or whoever, you know, facilitation or whoever, um, bring it together and read it, bring it together and read it at general assembly. So that we can consolidate these ideas. So that we can consolidate these ideas. Okay. I just wanted to speak to the idea that he didn't want that the mayor didn't want the press here today. Uh, he made the announcement last night in the public forum at the Richmond Times Dispatch, and it was on the front page today. So if I, if he said anything about not wanting the press here. That's crap. Come on, uh, but I don't think he did. I I, I think that he kind of, that was a press moment for him. He came down here and told them last night so that he could turn that into his press moment. Right. So he could then later say, "Oh well, I went down there and spoke to them." So let's let's be clear on that. Thank you, Alex. He's still a politician. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to go off uh, the young lady's idea that was just up here. Um, I think what's important though is if we're starting to deal with the city now that we have individual and local ideas that we can work with the city for so they can have measurable results. Uh, as an example, I ride the bus every day and in the morning it doesn't really have heat and it's starting to get cold. I'd like my heat to be fixed on the bus. They could fix it, they could tell people they fixed it, and they would be a little more satisfied. Uh, as, as opposed to the more general ideas we have that I'm sure we all agree with. Uh, I think this would really help them and it would help us. Thank you. Um, I'm still coming up with um, personal opinions and that's why he's still here as a uh, stack taker. Um, it is my understanding that we already have a grievance box. Uh, did, can anyone speak to that? Um, okay, I believe Josh was heading it. There's, As I understood, there's a box where you list your grievances, um, which is basically as I understand your ideas on why we're here, what you are angry about specifically, um, and I just wanted to point that out. I've seen a suggestion box up there, but I've not seen a grievance box. Okay. I, don't know. I just remember it being brought up in an earlier GA. I was hoping that someone here could talk about that, but it doesn't seem so. I, I wanted to say something too. Just, just aim it? Yeah. Um, um, about the grievance box and about and, and how that relates to um, t 
talking to city council and talking to the mayor, maybe I'm wrong about this, but the way I understand it is the issues right now are not so much when we're talking to the mayor and we're talking to city council are not so much about, you know, why we're here, but just the just the actually us being here and being able to be here and around those legal issues that city council is discussing. So I feel like bringing our grievances to them right now is would is is kind of off point. It's kind of off topic. I mean, I believe that we should be focusing on why we're here, obviously amongst each other. But when we deal with them at this point, you know, we're trying to, I don't know, we're trying to get a permit, we're trying to get an uh, injunction. We're trying to actually be here. So, so. Um, I get a direct response. Uh, I think that the, the two could happen simultaneously, um, yeah. but it's a good idea to keep them separate. Um, I agree with the idea of a grievance box, and I also agree with, you know, we need to focus on why we're here and maybe hold the grievances and collect them simultaneously. There are a lot of hours in the day when that stuff could be done. Can I get a, uh, can I get a... I'm just gonna point out that I'm also stepping back into the second oh. Well, oh. Basically what she said and remember what he said. Um, yeah, I just think we should at least start to write it down so when the time comes that we do want to actually forward these to, to, the, to the higher powers or whatever, to the city council, whoever we want to give them to, we will be ready and have them polished and really, really thought out, you know, when we are ready to do that. So we should keep them separate, but we should at least start it and have a committee start looking at them as soon as we can. Um, I would like to, we've ha had a lot of discussion on this, I would like to take three more um, people in stack, and then if we can close the subject for the moment. Uh, I couldn't hear what you just said, but I, I, want, I wanted to get on stack just to say that I think that you guys are right about the permitting being the point of talking to them, but it's important to note that we have grievances, that this is a First Amendment issue here, that we're vocalizing to make that lack of a permit or the issue of the permit you know, uncomfortable or happy, that's all. Uh, do you want to say that one time we have we need a mic check? Oh, I'm sorry. Mic check. Mic check. check. I think that talking to the city council is, yes, the permitting thing. I think, I think that talking to the city council, council yes, is the permitting thing. thing. But we need to know that we're here because we have grievances, that we have issues. But we, we need to know that we're here because we have grievances and we have issues. And issues. Yes, to let them know that. To let them know, okay. to let them know that. Thank you. Uh, can we get two more people to come down and speak? Oh. Is there one more person? Okay, can you go after her? I think that it's important that we have a concise idea of our demands, but that maybe we would want to put them out to the general public as opposed to just putting them forward to one particular politician. Hi, my name is Ralph Stewart. They call me Stu. Um, and I just wanted to share with you, I think uh, one of the, the biggest reasons why the mayor came out, it, out here and what they're trying to do is get us out of the park, period. And so um, the, big, the big issue is that when the Tea Party was here, and it's, it's been on the news and I've been reading, when the Tea Party was here, they paid $10,000 to be able to use the park and be able to facilitate and do what we're doing today. So they're, they're, they're um, suing, get ready to sue the city for that. So, um, so the, the biggest thing is to not get kicked out this park, try to figure out how to, how to stay in the park. And also, like the young lady said that was speaking before me, it's not just the city council, it's the state too. The state controls, controls what go on. The city council is, uh, the city is okay, but what controls the commonwealth is the state. So we gotta push our initiative and issues to the state.
Uh, was that a response to what he said? Well, that was just a point of clarification. They didn't actually pay the money to use the part. They got fined that because they had things like amplification systems and such like that. It was just a big, got fined $10,000. They didn't have to pay. But they're, they're suing the city to get that money back. Yeah, yeah. So that's, you know, they, they have a lawsuit in place. Okay. Um, actually, I... Oh, God. I would like to, um, we've taken a lot of voices on this, and in the, uh, since it is an informal proposal, I would like to get rolling on to other, um, other things. Can we take a, uh, see, okay, who wants to move on? Get, is there opposition to that? Okay, I'm going to move on. If you, uh, have, uh, more ideas on this, please talk amongst yourselves and bring them back at next GA. That brings us to uh, any formal proposals that anyone might have.